Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner. And I found these online at oldtimecandy.com and they kind of brought these out a while ago. I remember when I was little they had these and they had a lot of different um, versions of them, different um, flavors of them and this is all kind of tied in. They had the original like the lemon heads, the grape heads, the apple heads all the different ones and I did a um, one the other day the Johnny Apple Trees they've also got other flavors by the same company I guess they've brought it back this is by 1908 candy company and this is called this one is called Chewy Cherry Clan <laughs> and uh, they had the, um, the Johnny Apple Treats and then they also have the um, Alexander the Grape <laughs> and then uh, Cherry Clan they have one more Mel Mr. Melon I'll do that one in a different review I did find those as well and yeah this is the the chewy cherry candies and on the back here says uh the candy that launched a million childhoods exactly 1908 is bringing back your favorites and they're better than you remember don't let don't be fooled by their calm <laughs> nature and composed attitude when called upon to save the day, these chewy cherries don't play games. You'll never see them coming until bam, an explosion that will leave you seeing ninja stars. <laughs> so it's a little cherry clan, okay. I don't know who wrote these, but 1908 candy. Um, so yeah, I guess they've started bringing them back. Old time classic, I remember getting these either from the ice cream man or from the gas station. You know, little, little um, bottom. They were like little tiny bags, little tiny, well, little tiny boxes. And they were probably like a nickel a piece. I don't remember them being in the giant boxes, but I don't know, maybe they were. I just remember buying a little, little tiny boxes, like nickel, nickel a piece or a dime a piece, or maybe even a quarter somewhere along the line. All right. Oh, huh. don't remember this. Okay, so they have them in a plastic bag. I guess they don't want. They stay a little fresher inside, maybe. I don't know. And yes, they also had the grape, apple, lemon. All right. Let's see, it's certainly kind of weird looking. I don't know. The other ones were more like round, the apple, Johnny Apple Trees. Okay, these are kind of like, I don't know, weird shapes. These are like, not, not perfect circles. They're kind of like barrel or something, but maybe they're supposed to be like a cherry. I don't know, but here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Super. Super cherry flavor on that, wow. Oh, boy, boy. Intense and um, sweet at the same time. Kind of reminds me of um, like a cherry starburst or the cherry now and laters if they had those. I don't remember if they have cherry starburst, but okay, <laughs> I guess it. Trying to make them look like a little double cherry, I guess. I don't know. All right. But wow. Very intense. They still have a little bit of that artificial flavor, but wow. Very tart. They're chewy like a jelly bean, kind of. They've got that outside shell and then the kind of crunchy crunchy coating and then the inside is like a little bit of a jelly base but these are definitely fun and I do remember getting these from the gas station and get a couple boxes mixing matching shape the flavors of apple um, cherry lemon Somewhere along the line, apparently they're bringing them back. 
this company, it was probably not the original company. I don't know if it was um, one of the other ones, Just Born. I think that was the one that does the hot tamales and stuff like that. But it does kind of remind me of, yeah, like a hot tamale, cherry, Mike and Ike's. They had one called Cherry and Bub. It was Cherry and Bubblegum. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> but, wow. Chewy Cherry. Very, very intense, yeah. Um, but it's definitely would be good to um, have those. Kind of going back, it brings me back to when I was little used to have all the really really sweet candies and stuff like that and you know when when I was little at least you know you get your allowance maybe you know 50 cents or a dollar a week your parents would give you allowance and then you go down and to the uh, corner store or the candy store or whatever and nickel nickel <laughs> nickel candy dime candy stuff like that um pick up a couple of those and you know, you can have a real good time, but um, don't think you really do that now. It's about a dollar a bag for most of them. Uh, some of the other ones are a little more expensive, but does remember that. Also, when the ice cream man would come around, he had, you know, ice cream, but then he also had, like, you know, nickel candies now and later, pixie sticks, things like that. And these were kind of fun little treats. I remember, I just, I totally remember it. I don't, re I don't remember too much about the Cherry Clan and all the Mr. Melon and all that. I do more remember about they were called Grape Heads, Apple Heads, all that stuff. But um, certainly it's, it's good that they're coming back. And like I said, I found that one online, but I think I've seen some of them in the Dollar Tree, so maybe they'll get the other ones as well. And you can <laughs> go down there and try them for yourself and relive maybe some of your memories from when you were little if you actually got these if you did go ahead and put a comment down below you know hey i remember having those when i was little and yeah very very interesting to go back and see what they still have or what they're bringing back i know that uh recently um the one company that made a lot of the items went out of comp went out of business and they another company brought it back the neko wafers they went away Another company took over, they bought the rights and they started bringing it back. So maybe this might be similar. The original company that started them went under and then they another company bought the rights and they started uh, producing them. So yeah, be on the lookout for the return of some of your classic candies, you know, maybe went away. I think a lot of the companies are reviving the old classics and that's a good thing. So. There you go, guys. A little bit of fun with a classic candy. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, I'm Drew's Food Reviews. When I'll be trying another classic candy for you, I will be putting these aside and I'll try some another time. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some more in the store. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.